The rival group from the Nairobi Central Seventh-day Adventist Church under the banner Nairobi Cosmopolitan Conference is now calling for the resignation of the church's leadership over allegations of corruption and poor leadership. Now these church members want the General Conference of the Church Worldwide to set up a commission to take charge of the SDA Church in Kenya. Vincent Odor has the latest chapter of the SDA Church Troubles. The Seventh Adventist Church has recently been peppered by rifts that have torn its leadership right down the middle. And now a rival group within the church, the Nairobi Cosmopolitan Conference, says the current leadership has failed to steer the church clear of the divisions. Seventh day schools, colleges, universities, health facilities, among other institutions are run down and have become employment opportunities for, for close family members and the leaders of church leaders. We are requesting or demanding that uh, the leaders of Central Kenya Conference resign. The leaders of East Kenya Union Conference <laughs> resign. East and Central Africa Division, that is headed by Pastor Ruguri, resign. The rifts in the church are largely about efforts to control millions of shillings as well as jobs in the facilities owned and run by the church. But apart from the money jostling to influence a list of delegates to participate in next year's global elections is also fanning the flames of the conflict. The NCC accuses the current leadership of manipulating the election of delegates and church leaders. The SDA Central Kenya Conference leadership, however, blamed the NCC of being behind the chaos after they were struck off the church register. Some of the church's top leaders are also engaged in outright theft of our church resources, which members contribute in form of tithes and offerings. This matter is very well known to the highest office of this church in, in, uh, in America. And we're perplexed that they have not taken any action to come to sort out this matter. The Nairobi Central SDA Church is now closed indefinitely. Vincent Odur, NTV.